Good morning, everybody. I um, have a book to show you here this morning. It's about um, 425 or something like that, but I still have to make this kind of quick because I have an early morning uh, appointment. I have to get my physical today. I've changed that appointment twice because I was afraid to go. <laughs> So then they call me Tuesday because they're closed on Wednesday, so right now. So they call me Tuesday to see if for sure if I was coming today, and I said, yep, I'll be there this time. So I no more hung up the phone, and I heard the ambulance call to the doctor's office, and it sounded like they were picking up a patient with COVID. <laughs> so I called right back, and I gave them a little bit because I knew if there was a patient there with COVID, they were all shook, or that they thought was. So I called right back, and, and uh, she was laughing, and she said, now, okay. This, that patient did not have COVID. That was an older lady, and she uh, was just very ill, and she needed to go to the hospital. <laughs> she said, we'll see you Thursday morning. So I'm going to be there Thursday morning, 830. And then I'm going to have to run to the post office to mail this book off that's going to Sweden. I um, want to tell you just a couple things before I show you this book. This is my most exciting book I think I have ever made, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, we're getting a lot of friends' requests lately to our grandma group, Gram uh, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. And we're getting a lot of requests, and uh, when I click to accept them, the first thing I do is go to the Facebook page and see if they have any friends, see if there's any action or activity going on on their page. And if they just have one or two posts on the page and no friends to show, I don't accept them because about two years ago, <laughs> we got, I we were new at this, and Grandma thing was new, the grandma group was new, and I let somebody in, and it turned out to be a, a I won't even say the word, but a predator, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, so um, I didn't know the page looked nice, it looked fine, uh, the ladies were all excited, we were all getting to know each other and having a lot of fun, but um, this predator invited everybody to uh, a chat group, chat page, while I was off doing my thing during the day, and I didn't know this was happening, and a bunch of them accepted, and it, it turned out to be a very bad and very dangerous page. So what a mess we had there. So I'm really careful about who I let in. I try to be careful, but still sometimes things happen. But um, lately we've been getting a lot of requests, which we want. We want our group to grow, but... Um, when I click to um, accept them, sometimes it says uh, no profile found on the Internet or on Facebook. Um, or if I check the page and click to delete it because it has no friends or no activity on the page, when I click to delete it, it also says no profile found on Facebook. So... This morning, on a whim, I let one in. I looked at the page. She had virtually, it said she had no friends. <laughs> That's a sad thing right there by itself. <laughs> but we've all been there or felt like we were there. Um, but it said she had no friends. But there was um, a lot of crafty things on her in uh, the few pictures that were there. And I thought, I'm going to take a chance on this one. So I clicked to accept it, and it said no profile found. So, um... She's going to see this this morning, maybe see that because I've already talked to her. I hope that was really somebody <laughs> nice. <laughs> but uh, so um, I clicked to accept her and it said no profile found on Facebook or something like that, whatever it says. So now I don't know if I have deleted a bunch of people that really wanted in that were really sincere people or um, I just don't know what's going on with it. It has me upset because we do want to grow. We have so much fun in that group, and it is really a good group for um, us, especially older ladies that, you know, they don't have that much going on as the young moms. I've been a young mom with three kids, and uh, it was nothing to have six kids for supper because they always had to have their friends over. The house was always full and noisy, and we've been through that. We've even taken kids on vacations to Six Flags and things like that. Instead of taking three, we took six. So uh, we had everybody wear the same color shirt. <laughs> we had ropes. <laughs> no, let's see. Let's go on with this. But uh, I'm worried about this friend's request uh, on our junk journals from Grandma with Love because we want you there. I don't want to delete you if you're real <laughs> and you're wanting in. 
Uh, so my page is kind of open to the world. So if you want to send me a friend's request, if you, if I do delete you, if you want to send me a friend's request and let's talk and see if we can figure this out. Well, there is a geezer calls them um, pterodactyl. It's those stink bugs. They have taken over Round Knob Canyon. Uh, and they've even gotten inside now. We're having a terrible time. Um, so anyway, um, if I delete somebody that watches one of these videos and you really want in our junk journals from Grandma with Love group, um, just um, send me a private message or something on Facebook or post to me down under the video or just whatever and um, we'll see if we can work it out. Uh, we want everybody there that wants to be there. It is a fun group. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we have a question of the day and it's just goofy stuff. It doesn't have to be a cr about crafts. It could be what's for supper or... Um, What's your favorite hobby besides um, crafting and, you know, things like that? It's really a fun. We really know each other in that group, and I've said that before, and I'm not going to go on and on and on with that. Okay. Um, I'm going to knock the camera over. That's all I need. I need to get going six minutes, and I haven't even got into the book yet. Okay. Uh, videos. I'm going to start doing videos about three or four times a week. I hope and pray. I'm always going to do something. But if you see me, I mean, I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning, and I've done a lot already. Um, I go like a house of fire until about 7 o'clock, and then when I sit down, Geezer says goodnight <laughs> because I conk out <laughs> some nights. Last night I did pretty good. Um, but I was up and going again, and oh, I've been up almost two hours already. Um, but I'm going to start trying to do videos three or four times a week, uh, beginning the first week in January. They're going to be tutorials. They're going to be craft with me. I hope I can get set up to do that. He's made me a pole to put my camera on. I haven't tried it yet. Um, so we'll see what uh, what we can do with that. So uh, click to join. If you haven't subscribed here already, uh, click to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Click the like button. Do anything you can to help us grow. Um, because that's what we want to do. We want to be here for everybody. Okay. Back to the book. This is, um, first I want to say, I said yesterday I was going to put, I, this started out to be a $25 book. That ain't going to happen. But I felt bad because everybody was excited waiting on the $25 book and they had their fingers on dead ready, ready to pick the, uh, click the I'll take it button. And then it just kept evolving and evolving. And I mean, I, that's what one of our classes are going to be, um, how to try to have a more creative mind. I don't know if we can teach that. I've got such a creative mind. There are not enough hours in my day. I could put two days into one and uh, and do some days or feel like I do. But um, that's what you need. You don't need a lot of stuff from Hobby Lobby, a lot of stuff from Michaels. You don't need a lot of stuff from Etsy. This mainly came out of the woods. I trudged into the woods three times to make this book. I mean, I could have run into Bigfoot. I could have run into a cougar. It was kind of warm. I could have run into a rattlesnake, a copperhead. <laughs> but that's where I went to get the stuff to make this book. This is, without a doubt, the most grungy book I have ever made. But I said yesterday, somebody said, what's it going to run? And I said, I think I'm going to put 95 on it. Then I kept thinking about that because everybody was so excited they thought a $25 book was coming. So I'm going to mark it way down, um, this one. If I do another one like it a little bit later, I've got an order to fill right after this. And that'll be my next thing. But um, if I do another one like it, and I want to make me one too, so I will do one or two more when I, as soon as I can. Um, if I do another one like it, it will be $95 plus shipping because, boy, there is a lot of work. This this stuff may have been free out of the woods, most of it, but there was a lot of work in this book. As you can see, look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious, Rachel. Okay, let's just start at the front. So <clears throat> we have leaves in here, and I've already broke a leaf right there. Um, I, I rub these leaves down good with coconut oil. And um, I just did everything I could. I read on the internet a little bit how to soften them. Um, and um, 
I just put them on there as carefully as I could, but now that they're not real crunchy. That corner, that's on the corner. I shouldn't have let it hang out over the corner. I'll just break that off. It is a junk journal. It is a junk journal. Bye-bye part of the leaf. Um, you have extra leaves in here in case something drastic happens once you get it home if you buy it. <coughs> okay. So this is just some creepy cloth. Uh, I started out with a piece of uh, homemade paper. And... Uh, I put just a little bit of black ceram coat in a pan of, in a foil pan. I diluted it really well and made the cover. That's how I made that cover, kind of black looking. So let's just go on the inside because we've got to get going. We're already up to 10 minutes. On the inside, um, there is nothing in here to read. This is a, uh, this is what I call eye candy. And I always said I would never make eye candy, but here I've done it. Uh, there's nothing in here to read. I do have some, I mean, it's just, wonderful just to look at. I, I guess I could put a few quotes or something in there. Old, old, ages old things. I may do that. We'll see. Um, but anyway, um, so that's the front page. There's a little glassine bag. There's just some little extra papers to do some writing on. Lots of grunge grunge. Um, some sweet Annie stuck in there. Um, the animals. I, I tucked several animals in here, and the reason I did that, I got the idea for the animals from a, a local friend who put um, big images of uh, the donkey and, and uh, the sheep and all that on her Christmas tree, and I think she made it a prayer tree or something, but um, I just loved the pictures of those animals, so I thought, well, that'd be cute even in a book, um, and especially this nature book, and I'm calling this book Mother Nature. So um, I grunged up some uh, animals and put them in here. Uh, if somebody buys the book and they want the animals, you, they want that glued in, uh, I will do that. Uh, otherwise, they'll be just tucked in. So this is just some old papers and, and things that I've just printed off. Um, next page, here's a glassine bag with a pencil in it, and here's some more papers for notes right there if you want to write some notes in this book. It's just very, very grungy. And this is just an old heart doily. I hope I get everything in the frame. Some old, old buttons. Uh, I've told you many times I bought these buttons. Um, they were on eBay a couple years ago. 45 pound of buttons. And I'm telling you, I poured that big box of buttons out on a, a sheet in the living room. And uh, my husband said, you act like a kid in a candy store. I mean, I was so excited about the buttons. I just played in them. <laughs> So this is just some uh, tissue paper that I have baked and uh, um, put the uh, cinnamon on. And I've told you how to do the cinnamon. <coughs> you just um, coffee dye your paper. I do it after it's on the cookie sheet. I coffee dye the paper, put it on a cookie sheet. Then I sprinkle it with cinnamon. And then I spritz it with water. And that secures your cinnamon. You can't even wipe that off. You might get just a, a smidgen or two that will fall off. But it, it really secures it to your paper. And then you bake the paper. So there's just an old donkey. Now, like I said, I'll glue these in if anybody, whoever buys the book, wants it. This is an envelope with uh, more bark. <laughs> I really went overboard on this book. This is bark and some more leaves. And I even put some green leaves in there and a little bit of my mint out of the garden. It was still green. Or maybe it's coming back up because we have had kind of a mild winter so far. So that's what that is. Let's set that aside. Uh, this is just a big old duck that I just printed off and, and grunged up. Here's some more bark and some buttons and uh, some old fabric. Uh, let me tell you how this book came about really, really quick. I was just surfing on, uh, or whatever you call it, on uh, Pinterest the other night. Uh, about a week ago, my husband had something on uh, probably World War II. He's fascinated with World War II documentaries. So I was just looking through uh, Pinterest and saw this old, old book. And I thought, oh, I, it was on the order of this, just all torn up and just really, it didn't have the creepy cloth and all that in it, but it was very grungy. I thought, I've got to make that book. So I next morning, I gathered my stuff, put it at the table to start working on the book. Went back to look at the video because I needed to look at it one more time, and I had forgot to save the video. So, I mean the uh, image. I forgot to pin the image to a board. 
So I was looking around trying to find it again, and I just ran over something called, ran across some things called passport books. Now, passport books are nothing like this either, but they were very grungy, uh, the ones that I saw. And uh, then I started seeing things with the little strips of fabric and just very grungy stuff. There's some more bark. Um, this is just an old piece of a, an apron. I just tore a piece of that apron off, but it's that old see-through kind from years and years ago. Bought it at a uh, yard sale. Okay, so that's how this all came about. This is the conglomeration of two or three books that I saw on Pinterest. And um, that's the thing that the main thing that you need. I think I started with that 10 minutes ago, didn't I? That's the main thing you need uh, to make a good junk journal. You don't need a whole lot of supplies from all these stores or Etsy or Amazon or any of this. Some of that stuff you need, a little bit you need, or you, it would be nice. But the main thing you need is a creative mind, and I have a mind that just never stops, never stops. Dr. Patel says, let me give you a pill for that. He's always saying that. <laughs> I said, no. I like my energy um, just the way it is. Uh, it exhausts the geezer, but, you know, he picked me out, so he'll deal with it. So uh, it's just another little tuck tucked in there. A chicken to go with the egg sign. We'll get those in there if somebody wants them tucked in. Some of these pages are just left blank but very grunged up in case you want to do something. There's another page just grunged up. Two pages grunged up. Here's some more sticks. I'm fascinated with the woods. I love the woods. I could walk in the woods all day. In fact, we were going yesterday, but the wind was too cold. and So I said, let's wait till this afternoon and see if we can work it in uh, today. We'll see. Uh, going to the creek to get some creek rock and uh, just walk in the woods. I love to do that. Another big old leaf out of the woods. I wish I had thought to get some leaves uh, in the fall before they were beginning to get so dry. But this has been soaked in... Uh, um, coconut oil and then wiped off really good so it's pretty soft um, uh, I think it will be fine I've done leaves and sticks and things before this uh, that covers that page is just creepy cloth I just put it over both pages another grungy grungy page there's a big old cow love this picture of this cow reminds me of Borden Borden's milk uh, what was that cow called um, I don't remember. Oh, gosh, don't remember. Was it Daisy? Wasn't Daisy. Probably wasn't Daisy. I don't know. Anyway, I love that image. Uh, another grungy, grungy page. A little pocket made out of that uh, sack that I've told you I cut up and do all kinds of things with. And just some more paper in there. Very grungy pages. Very grungy pages right there. More grungy pages. Now, uh, I started to put something on all of these pages because I don't like to leave blank pages. But I thought, you know, whoever buys this book may want to take it and do something really, uh, add to it, uh, use their own creativity and, and see what they can do. So I'm going to, I left just about four pages, I believe. Um, and this is the last page in the book, and it's just, uh, my husband collects keys, and I asked him yesterday, I said, um, where is your um, big guy? ring of keys because I'd like to go out there and find a couple of old keys on it and so I went out there and got it and I found some old thingamajiggers um, for that and there is another pterodactyl round knob canyon pterodactyl these things oh my gosh okay okay so we're to the end of the book and this is the last page um it's just a, it's a wonderful book. It is a wonderful, 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 and I don't mean that to sound arrogant at all. Uh, I'm about the most insecure person you would ever want to meet in your life, <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is a neat book. I'll tell you, it is just a neat, neat book. So that's it. Uh, I'm not going to put $95 on it. I think I'm going to put $75 on it, and we don't normally talk about prices on videos, and I don't know why, because so many times I've seen a book and I've missed it, and I think, oh, I wish I knew what that what that book sold for. What did I miss? Could I have afforded it anyway? So that book's going to be $75, and um, we'll see if anybody wants it. If they don't, it will go in my, uh, and it'll be wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. I like it when they wrap them and wrap them and wrap them in uh, uh, rope. So let's take a quick peek at this. We're at 15...
19 minutes. Take a quick peek at this. This book I've already done a video on, so I'm just going to click through it real quick. Uh, this is going to Sweden to uh, thank my friend. I think her name is Getty, G-I-T-T-E, from Sweden, and um, has a clothespin on the front. These are called the Comfy Cozy Books. I have another one in the works, but I think it's already spoken for, but I will have more. Um, these are just warm and fuzzy and cozy books that will take you back to a simpler day and time. Um, and uh, there, this is uh, one of my favorite types of books. I, I like to do the cutesy things. Sometimes somebody will uh, special order a book and they say they want a lot of rabbits or they want a lot of cutesy this or cutesy that or gardens or flowers. Or, But I like the books that really take you on a journey back in time. Um, and this just has long poems and, and lots of reading in it. You could sit and spend the afternoon with this book, um, as you can most of the grandma books that I do, the ones that are truly grandma books. Uh, this is just um, some little... Uh, uh, it's a little pocket, some little quotes and images in there. Uh, I do a lot of writing. I have a Facebook page, uh, The Encouragers Club, and I do a story on it almost every day. I love to write. I used to write for the paper, but I did it from home. I had my own column. Uh, but I, I just wrote this little thing to go in there. It says, within the pages of this book, a story will unfold of love and home and family and memories worth more than pure gold. So set a spell and take it in and write if that's your will, because the pages of this tattered book are here for you to fill. So I just thought I, I put that in a lot of the books. Love life. Good old days. There's one of those grunged up rings. I've got that on my list to get some more because that worked well. I didn't know if they would bake and I didn't want to put anything in there. Uh, that looked new in any of my books, so but it, they did grunge up really good, so I'm getting some more when I go next time. Um, the little prayer quilt, um, uh, it's just a, it, someone just did a review on this book, and they said it was like a, a piece of a keepsake quilt of a baby that had passed away. Oh, heavenly day, no. <laughs> this is just a piece of a quilt. Let's stay on the up and up side here. <laughs> It says, I'm a little prayer quilt to hold in your hand to help when trouble arises. Those things you do not plan. So hold me tight in your fist if it helps calm your fears. And don't be afraid to use me to wipe away your tears. And then there's just a little piece of a happy quilt in here, <laughs> cut and aged. Um, make your life magical. My daughter has a radio program. She's the manager right here at our radio station. And at the end of every day, uh, she's always saying one of the things she says the most is uh, find the magic in every day. Or uh, some days we have to make our own sunshine. And, you know, we do. Uh, there is magic in every day. And there's there's uh, heartache and trouble and tears in every day. But we we have to try to dwell on the good as much as we can and look for the good. Um. This says, I'm going to make everything around me beautiful, and that will be my life. And there is the image of the little girl or the mom or whatever, sweeping and cleaning her home. I love that. I, I did a whole book on that, uh, The Lost Art of Home of, uh, Housekeeping. And that was a beautiful book. That's a beautiful page. Oopsie-daisy, let's put that quilt back. Uh, oops, this is a... Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, this is just recipes. I just made an old recipe book to put in here. This is handwritten recipes. Some belong to Grandma, and some I just found. Okay. Um, this is a little book that I made out of that bag, and it just has some quotes and things in it. These Grandma books are full of quotes. Long readings, short readings, poems, just uh, everything. Uh, they're just really, really something you can spend an afternoon with. Um, clocks. I love clocks, but they've got to have real numbers on them. I wouldn't have a clock in the house with Roman numerals on it. It says, if I could put time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do. Mm, time flies. Precious memories. Every moment matters. Okay, tuck that back in there. And this is the poem that everybody has such a fit about, and it's the memories poem from the kitchen. And this is like a 50s home this poem is talking about, and it says, I'll always remember the good old days, and that's really putting it mild. You can bet your boots I'll never forget things that happened when I was a child. And when it was cold and stormy outside, the kitchen was a place to be. The oven door open 
uh, the old oven door open on the old wood stove. We were cozy as we could be. A block of ice in the old ice box, the hand pump at the sink, doing homework by the kerosene lamp and using pen with a bottle of ink. I remember, oh my goodness gracious, Rachel. I remember when we used to have pens that we dipped in a bottle of ink. Oh my goodness. And then there's just an old timey kitchen. There is a 1942 calendar. Because Grandma, you know, lived in 1942, the Grandma we're making books for. And there's just a little uh, book grunged up with creepy cloth and stain and coffee. Uh, it says, if you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you will always look lovely. Wow. Try to always have good thoughts. Times are tough, especially right now. But, you know... For many of us, they could be worse. Some of us have seen the worst, and that's so horrible. But um, let's always try to look on the bright side of everything as much as we can. Um, this is just a little collage page. I, whoops, there goes the camera. Should have probably would have happened a long time ago if I hadn't been more careful, but it's happened now. Okay, um, fly me to the moon and let me live among the stars. Just I love to do collages, but that is I should have got that even closer together or put some more. I don't like blank spaces. <laughs> okay, and this is just uh, an envelope that is really grunged up. That is a beautiful envelope. It says from with love from Grandma, uh, and it just has a lot more uh, quotes and things inside it. Uh, see, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. Now, I'm I'm guilty of that sometimes. I mean, I get so wrapped up in these books, I'll spend 10 or 12 hours sitting at the work table working on these books, and I don't want to do that anymore. You know, life is too short. <laughs> I do want to do them, and I want to work on them, and I want to get them out one or two a month or more. But uh, I don't want to spend my life sitting at that table, but... Uh, uh, so many of us are guilty of that. We get so busy making a living, we forget to make a life. And this is a tribute to family. It's another long poem, and I read just a little bit of it. I don't know where it started or how it all began, but God created families as only our Lord can, and he was teaching what it means to love, honor, and obey. He wanted a strong bond that we don't see much of today. He wanted someone to hold us and show respect for others. He wanted someone who'd be gentle, and so he created mothers, and then it just goes on and on. Uh, I love old poems like that. Uh, I, I look for, and I have collected them for Gosh, I'm 74, and I, I bought my first poem when I was 10 years old. Daddy had us on. Uh, we had gone to, uh, my daddy's a Baptist minister, um, and uh, he was. He passed away a few years ago, but he was a Baptist minister for 65 years. But he had taken us to Memphis to the gospel singing um, convention, and we went in a Stuckey's, and I found this little diaper and I've used it, I've uh, put it in a video once, and it was just the cutest little poem on that diaper. Uh, and I wanted to buy it, and it was a dollar. Well, back in the 50s, a dollar was a lot of money, and so I asked Daddy if I could have a dollar, and he gave me a dollar and let me buy that, and that was my first little poem I bought. Uh, so I've collected them ever since, and I have boxes. People want to know, where do you find all these things? In my boxes. <laughs> Now, a lot of this stuff you can find on the Internet, even the old, old stuff. It's on there somewhere. Uh, but uh, most of this stuff came out of my boxes. Uh, I bought some things on Etsy. I've talked about that before. But, um, oh, there's one more page. Uh, I've talked about that before. But, um, you know, I just found a thing. I can't find things once I download them. I'm not real good with computers, and my daughter's really busy right now with um, all the COVID stuff. She's working way over her normal hours, and she'll think she's done and go home, and something else will happen, and she'll have to go back to the radio station to change the news, And because um, she is WMOK. She pretty much does it all. Um, uh, but um, I don't know. Um, and I don't even know where I was going with that thought. I've lost the train of thought. Listen to me. Um, that's it. I've got to get off of here. I'm up to 28 minutes. Oh, my goodness. One of the longest videos I've had in a long time. I'm going to download this, upload it, download it, whichever direction it's going to load, and uh, get it uh, <laughs> get it uh, posted. Try to get it posted before I go to the doctor's office. Um, so um, that's it for right now. I have to do one more book after this. 
and then we'll see. It's going to be coming up on time to make the divinity and the fudge and all that stuff and the crumble cookies. And, uh, you know, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But uh, we're not we're not taking a long Christmas break. I may take that week, but we'll see. OK, that's it. <clears throat> uh, click to, below to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment below. Click the like button. Come over and join us at Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. And if I delete you... <laughs> If I delete your request, send me a private message on Facebook and say, hey, I was a real person and you just deleted me. I really want in. And then I'll let you in. Um, we just have to watch real close. And those of you that are in Junk Journalism, Grandma with Love, if you see anything on that page that does not look like it's up to our standards, please let me know. Or Debbie Lambert, and um, she helps me with the page. And uh, tag both of us in any post that you see that doesn't look right. And uh, because both of us are really busy during the day and we're not on that much during the day. But um, I, I try to check back and forth and she does too, but we're just on for a minute. So we don't have time to really scroll everything. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's a wrap. I hope you all have a super duper grand and groovy, uh, groovy zippity doo dah day. I hope you get a little kindness and spread a little kindness absolutely everywhere you go. Um, we're all having tough times. Be nice to everybody. You don't know what they're going through, what they've been through, and what's lying ahead for them. None of us, none of us know that. So let's just always be on the up and up and be friendly to everybody. Okay, thanks for watching, and I love you all.